La Flair Nation, what to do, man? I already know the vibes, man. It's your boy Duff, and we back again with another deck. Hold on, bro. Let me. I know, hey. <laughs> A little close right there, but look, man, we back with another daily video. If y'all didn't know, man, I post every single day on my channel, man, at 10 a.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you turn your notice on for that, man. But before we hop into today's video, man, go ahead and drop the like on the video, man. Y'all already know that, man. Drop a like. Let's get this video to 30 likes. If you're new to the channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your boy, man. Join the LaFleur Nation, man. We're going crazy. Man, we go crazy all oh, year, yo. We're not missing an upload at all. But, um, man, I ain't gonna lie, my voice got a little hotter. <laughs> but, um, we ain't missing a video at all, man. Y'all already know that. And, um, I'm putting my Twitch up right now, man. Y'all can follow my Twitch if y'all want to, man. I stream every single night on there, man. So, if y'all want to see some dope gameplay, the all ISO gameplay, going crazy with the music blast and all that good stuff, man. Song quest booming. Y'all know the vibes, man. Make sure you follow my Twitch. Turn the notice on for that. I stream every single night on my Twitch, man. Along with the daily videos going crazy on the YouTube channel, man. But, um, what else was I finna say? I ain't gonna say nothing, man. Let's jump straight into the video. Yeah, if you're hearing this, man, you got car lacking, man. Make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Alright y'all, as y'all can see from the thumbnail and the title, today man, I got y'all with the top 5 beginner tips. This is all for my new boys that either just got the game man, is having a difficult time playing this game and you know, maybe not having as much fun because you're not winning as much man, but listen, if y'all stick through this video bro, I promise that you boys will become a, listen, a hundred times better bro. This build, I mean um, I said this build. <laughs> This video, man, will help y'all out so much, bro. Starting out with tip number one, man, your badges. Listen, if you do not have badges and you're already playing in a park without badges, bro, that's your first mistake, bro. Badges make your player so much better, bro. They make your player, like, go crazy, literally. And having the proper badge set up for your build, whatever your build is, bro, you have to have the proper badge set up for the build. And, um, starting, like, y'all know I'm a guard, bro, so... Listen, I'm gonna give y'all the rundown on my badge layout. I mean, my badge layout. Listen, on on shooting badges, bro. Predominantly shooting badges, bro. Shooting badges are the most important badges in this game, bro. Cause you need to score the ball as a guard, bro. And when you when you look at badges, bro, you gotta get range extender. You gotta get hot zone. You gotta get green machine. And like those are the three main badges on this game that just make your player great. And you need those badges to shoot consistently in this game, bro. Because if you do not have your badges, I don't know if y'all know about 2K Labs, but we'll get into that. Listen, 2K Labs, if you do not have badges nor hot zones, bro, your make percentage of making a shot is only like 30%, y'all. I don't, I can't, I can't explain how big of a, like, how big a difference badges make in this game, bro. So, that's definitely tip number one, man. Make sure you get your badges, bro. Badges play a huge role. For tip number two, man, your hot zone. Now, when we look at these hot zones, y'all, hot zones make or break your build. Especially for my, my boys out there that are pure playmakers and they're not playmaking shot creators with Hall of Fame shooting. Um, hot zones make or break your build, bro. It boosts your shot make percentage up by so much that you don't even know, bro. So when we looked at it without our badges and no hot zones, we had like a 30%. Now, if we have hot zones, I think, if I'm remembering this right, y'all can quote me if I'm wrong, 2K, 2K Lab said if you have your hot zones with no badges, that's a 40% chance you make the shot. So, adds a little 10% to it. But if you have your badges and your hot zones, that's a 60% make percentage, bro. Y'all see, bro, 30 to 60, bro? Like, y'all see what I'm getting at? Hot zones make your build, bro. They make your build. Hot zones and badges are the two most important things in this game that you need to get down first to be a better park player to to be way like literally just better at the game in general um but that yeah y'all y'all get the y'all get the memo on hot zones tip number three man tip number three is split in two because i couldn't really just you know split them apart they're really they're like they're the same thing having a good jump shot now when it comes to jump shots bro 2k labs does a great job at showing off jump shots the best green window if y'all boys don't know what a green window is it's how big 
of a like a window like how big how do i put this how big the window is for you to green your shot basically and some jump shots have a small green window and some jump shots have a big green window you can do your research on youtube of you know basically just finding the good jump shots with um the best green window you can definitely search up 2k labs on youtube and they have some great 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 videos on that and uh, you can check that out and another thing is bro having your meter on and then getting familiar with your jump shot with your meter on and then turning it off for that extra boost you can use the shot stick i haven't personally i do not like the shot stick it's not really the mind like i ain't really that good with it and i don't really mess with it like that because i like to dribble a lot and you know just pulling that stick down and it's kind of hard to you know just do that when you're comboing up you feel me but knowing your jump shot turning your meter off man getting that extra boost you got to know your jump shot bro that'll make you way better as well man just, listen it's just the small things i'm telling you bro 2k is not hard for y'all boys i promise you it's not bro it's just knowing the small things and then that'll make you great bro that simple as that bro tip number four y'all tip number four watch tutorials on youtube Watching tutorials on YouTube helps so much, bro. Especially, I, I reference this a lot to guards because I'm a guard myself. But, you know, there is videos on YouTube for centers that have to get proper position on, like, rebounds and stuff like that. But this is predominantly, like, for my guards because I'm a guard. I'm sorry I'm being a little biased here, but look. For guards, man, you need to, if you want to dribble, bro, you want to go crazy combo up, man, watch tutorials on YouTube, bro, and practice. And practice in your my court. That's that's what I used to do. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Before, I knew how to dribble at all. I, I used to always watch tutorials, but I used to watch Steezo, G Man, all them all them great dribble guys, bro. Hank, Cole, all them great dribble guys, man. And I just practice it so much, bro. It's just muscle memory now, bro. What you want to do with this game, man, is turn everything into muscle memory, bro. So you like you don't even have to remember, bro. You just do it naturally. And that's kind of how dribbling is, bro. Once you get a feel for dribbling, bro, and you keep practicing, it just turns into muscle memory, bro. And it, you, you, you just do it off instinct now. You just do it off this natural, natural movement, bro. Simple as that. But um, make sure you watch tutorials, bro. Make sure you watch the good jump shot videos. Make sure you watch dribble tutorials, bro. They help out so much, bro. And I promise you, they will make y'all a better player. But <laughs> excuse me. But um, for tip number five, man. Last but not least. You gotta play smart, bro. You need to play with the same group of teammates, man. If you got a consistent squad, bro, make sure you're running with that squad all the time. And they listen, building chemistry in this game is everything. Knowing what your teammates are gonna do before they even do it, bro, that's how you're gonna be great at this game. Because most people in this game, majority of them, they they run, they play the park with randoms, y'all. It's not that many people that just get on the game every single day and play together. You know what I'm saying? Having the proper teammates, the proper lineups. In the chemistry bro the chemistry makes everything <clears throat> and another thing is make sure you play your position y'all play your pitches I know it sounds dumb but listen if you're a center bro do not be trying to dribble like a guard run the ball up court you will get you will get the ball get taken from you bro easily bro because centers have no ball handling you're just gonna get ripped like play your position it's always t it's always fun in games to goof around and stuff bro but just make sure you blow another team out first you feel me but Listen, if you master, listen, tip one, you get your badges. Tip two, you get your hot zones. Tip three, you find a good jump shot. You know your jump shot. You do your research on it. You master it with your muscle memory. You get it down pat. You watch tutorials on how to dribble, bro. You master that. You get that down pat, muscle memory. And you play smart with teammates that you can trust and you have good chemistry with and you run with them all the time, bro. You're going to be just fine, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. It's not that hard, 2K is not that hard. You just have to have the muscle memory and the consistent squad, bro. Chemistry. And um, I don't, I, did I say, yeah, make sure you just practice in your mind court, bro. You can practice a lot of things in your mind court, man. You can practice your jump shot. You could practice um, dribbling. You could practice fading. Like, you could, you could, you and your teammate can do one on one and y'all could practice defense. It's, it's so many things, but that's available for y'all boys that I just don't think you guys know. And I'm trying to help y'all out with that, you feel me? This right here, bro, if you master all these tips, bro, I promise you, your record will be positive. You will go crazy in the park more, bro. It's just, you feel me? It's simple as that, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, and y'all, y'all really, um, 
it's my fault my phone run but if y'all enjoyed this video man make sure y'all drop a like on the video man hit the subscribe button if you're new man it's much appreciated bro much appreciated and um when i wrote the 3k man make sure you tell your notice i'm going crazy every single day with the daily videos y'all know the vibes man definitely the flare don't stare you already know man <laughs> um but i really appreciate y'all boys man we're going crazy out here and uh, I hope y'all boys have a blessed day, blessed evening, you know, or blessed night if you're over there across the country, man. I appreciate y'all. And um, I'm going to see y'all boys in my next stream or my next video. But I'm going to see y'all boys when I see y'all. And I'm out.